In this video, I'm going to show you the easiest way to design your dashboards on your desktop or your computer and then have them look perfect when they come over onto your tablet. Hi, this is Justin from Simply Smart, where we make smart home technology as easy as one, two, three. So if you're interested in smart home technology, consider subscribing for more content like this. Also, if you're interested in building the ultimate smart home, check out the video description for the three simple steps to get started. So in this video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at is designing our dashboards on our computer where we have a mouse and a keyboard. It's just so much easier than doing it actually on a tablet. The issue is, is that your computer is not the same size as your tablet. So when you bring it over, as you can see now, I'm on my computer and then on my tablet, it looks completely different. It looks the way I want it to look on my tablet. Now, if I were to just hit the unmaximize, now it's basically looking exactly the same as the tablet, except for the height is a little bit off. Now our computer screen looks pretty much the same as our tablet. But if you have it just a little bit off, see how when I move it over, they actually got a little bit bigger. When I move in, they didn't actually shift. So now we have like a gap on the side and you can see there's a gap here and it doesn't look the same. So it's very important that when you start designing on your computer, that you have the right canvas, essentially. You have the right size and you're going to see basically what it's going to look like on your tablet. Because when you, if you have it full screen, it's not going to look anything like it's going to look on your tablet. So it's all jumbled up. You basically need to get the size of your tablet in squares. So you need to know these squares horizontal and the square is vertical. So what I did is I just created a dashboard that has a bunch of white squares on it. So on our tablet here, if we tap on the screen sizer, now it's going to open up basically a bunch of white squares. And how I made this dashboard is I just added a bunch of devices and then I just changed the color of the tile to be white. I made it to be the smallest tile size there is available, which is tiny, which is 80 pixels. So if we look at our tablet here, we have 15 squares to the right, nine squares tall. It's actually nine and a half, but you'd probably wouldn't want to use the last row because it's going to be a little bit cut off. That way you'd have to scroll to see, which isn't a big deal. I mean, you could have one dashboard that scrolls infinitely and you could have a separator and have like all of your rooms on one dashboard and you could scroll up and down that dashboard. So once you get your size, then you can come over here and you can start building it. So if we go over to the screen sizer on the computer, so what we want is we want to resize our on our browser to be 15 by nine. So we just click that and then we just kind of drag it around until we get the right size. So right here, this is basically almost the exact size. What you might want to do is just go up a little bit more to cut off the last row that you really don't want to use. So now once you have that set up, you know that this is going to be the size of your dashboard without scrolling down. Now what you can do is you can just go to your dashboard. Now once on your dashboard, what you'd want to do is whatever you used your screen size or dashboard with the white squares, you would just want to make sure that you're using the same um, tile size. So let's just change this to be tiny and click on save. And then you would just add your tiles and you can actually even have your tablet right next to you. And every time you save your dashboard on your desktop computer, it'll automatically update on your tablet so you can see what it looks like. All right, so for example, we had this one here that we were using. And so if I go ahead and I have it both open on the tablet and on the computer here. So if I just, let's go ahead and just remove that. 
So now if we click on the save button right here, look at our tablet. So you can see our tablet is mirroring exactly what we're doing on the computer. So if we click on the edit again, now we can go ahead and remove this. And let's take out the front lock. And if we save this again, and just click on, usually almost always you want to delete excess spacer tiles. So we're going to delete that. And now you can see right on our tablet, it's changed exactly. But now, say if we had this to be the wrong size. Say we're looking like this, and we go here, and we click on Edit. And now if we save it, now you can see it doesn't look the same on our computer and on our tablet. So that is why you have to have your screen be the correct size. Now I can get that probably back to where it is. So if I slide this back a little bit, Okay, now this is kind of looking like the same. Let's just go ahead and save it just to be sure. So we're gonna save it. Yep, so that looks the same now on our computer and our tablet. But it would be really confusing if you had it like this, and then every time you move something, like say, I wanna move this um, garage door here, and then you click save, and then it looks nothing, the garage door is here, but on the tablet, it's all the way over here on the left-hand side. So obviously that'd be super frustrating. Um, that's why it's very important to have everything be the same size. It's a little bit tricky in the beginning, but once you know this little simple trick here, you're gonna be fine. I always choose the tiny tile on all of my dashboards. That way you can always make them bigger. If you have a bigger tile, you can't make them smaller. So that's why it's very important to kind of start the right way. So I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section, and I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as possible. Also check out the videos on the screen to start building your ultimate smart home. And I'll see you in the next video.